So Keanu Reeves once again proving why he is just the nicest guy in Hollywood. Uh, unfortunately and sadly, on March 17th, Lance Reddick died of natural causes as per statements. Uh, and it was, it was absolutely shocking. It just sort of came out of nowhere. I remember popping on Twitter after I'd come out of watching Shazam, Fear of the Gods, I think it was. And uh, yeah, I saw it and I was like, uh, huh? What? This is incredibly sudden and just seems so just very surreal. You know, this is a chap who has had a storied career. He's a great actor, or sadly I guess was, a great actor. Very, very, very good at his craft. Uh, and of course, I guess his last film, uh, although unconfirmed, I'm not exactly 100% certain if it is, but John Wick Chapter 4, you know, that that is the most recent film that features him that's going to be coming out, uh, will be dropping, and there was a premiere of it uh, recently as well and Keanu Reeves was asked along with everyone else uh, on the red carpet essentially his thoughts I guess uh, and yeah Keanu Reeves coming out proving why he is such a legend why he is the nicest guy uh, in Hollywood just very real very 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 real uh, and here's what he had to say yeah Lance was uh, a, a a beautiful person, a special artist, a man of grace and dignity, and such a passion for his craft. Uh, and to have the chance to work with him over the 10 years and four films is something that are very special to me. And, um, fucking sucks he's not here. Again, just very real. Very real, very down the line. And he almost, honestly, it does almost look like he's tearing up. Uh, which is sad to see. I mean, it's sad, of course, for Lance Reddick's family as well. You know, I'm not trying to put this on, oh, Keanu Reeves, blah, blah, blah. It, it's sad all round, but it's nice and humbling to see Hollywood actors, uh, as well as the director, which we'll get to in a minute, just being very real and human. We too often see these individuals put up on pedestals, and Keanu Reeves has remained just a nice, humble chap. So it's good to see this. Uh, but yeah, the director, Chad Stileski, uh, he also uh, made some comments with respect to the uh, passing of Lance Reddick. You have um, someone so close pass so suddenly, it's always tricky. Um, tricky, but like, he's a great man, he's a great human. We're just all fortunate enough to have spent, you know, the last 10 years of our lives working with him. He was a mentor, a friend, a great human being. Um, and I think the best way to help mem remember him and celebrate it is through his work and just never forgetting how much he touched us. And you know what? What sort of what I notice about all of this is again just how very real these individuals are when they're talking about him. You know, they clearly they're not. It's not forced. They're not hyper animated, bombastic with it. it, it it's also not about them. You know, too often we see these individuals, uh, the elites, Hollywood, etc. When they start talking about tragedies that have befallen other people, they put it on themselves, you know. Uh, and that's the real sign of someone that's just completely gone in the Hollywood machine. That they're, they're not, that they could not possibly function in day to day society anymore because they always put it on themselves. And these individuals. Keanu Reeves, Chad Stileski, they're just remembering the chap as he was, as he was as a friend, who he was and his attributes uh, and sort of what he brought to their lives in a positive light rather than, oh, you know, I'm so sad, I'm this, I'm that, me, 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 me. Uh, and it's really nice, you know, this is, this is how you should do it. Uh, and again, to me, they've got my money, they had my money for John Wick 4 anyway, but you definitely got my money after seeing such humbling statements. And even Lionsgate Motion Picture Group Chair, uh, Joe Drake, said something uh, at the premiere, which was, yeah, like actually surprising. I wasn't, you know, I say it's surprising, but I, you, you, I don't know, I just wasn't expecting them to do this, in fairness. Uh, I wasn't expecting him Joe Drake to come out and say anything, but he did, and he said the following. How profoundly saddened we are by the loss of Lance Reddick. Oh. 
Over the last week, there's been a lot of tears. There's been a lot of moments of quiet reflection. Tonight, what I would like to do, however, is ask you to make a loud, honoring, grateful applause for a man who was an absolutely extraordinary human being, extraordinary actor, and a big part of this franchise. So if you will, I think we put it together for Lance Reddick. You see, like, I don't know, it just, it doesn't reek of placation, it doesn't reek of self-congratulatory nonsense. Lionsgate have always appeared quite down to earth anyway, very real in terms of the products that they make. I th in, in fairness, I'm pretty certain Lionsgate is one of the, one of the last bastions of studios that have not gone completely woke up the wazoo. Um, and they just appear very real. You know, like they genuinely just appear very real. Everyone in this franchise appears very real. It's not this me, me, me's narcissism crap. It's no self-congratulatory nonsense. It just appears very humble, very sincere, and it's nice. It's really good. Uh, so to close out this, you know, Reddick has been a part of the John Wick franchise since the first movie premiered back in 2014. So yeah, it's been a long time. As they say, 10 years. 10 years working with the chap. I will say, it, even the shit things he's in, he is very good in them. So he was he was in Resident Evil for Netflix recently, uh, last year. And look, that was an abysmal series. It was, it was awful. But he was at least good in it. He was. He gave it his all. Uh, now, obviously, he played the concierge at New York's Continental House uh, Hotel. Uh, Reddick's character, Sharon... Uh, may, uh, you know, had a lot of screen time with Reeves. The pair of actors had been doing press for the fourth instalment of the franchise, which opens, uh, well, it opens March 24th. Um, and then, yeah, and, and just, uh, he unfortunately just died suddenly. Really, really, really suddenly. Just completely out of, out of the blue, completely out of nowhere. Don't think anyone was expecting it. It just happened. Uh, again, the statements are its natural causes, but still a bit of a shocker. Uh, now, normally I don't make videos on things like this, but it's more the statements made surrounding it that I liked uh, and thought was worthwhile making a video on. I don't generally like doing videos uh, on anyone that has passed. Uh, it's just my own sort of personal convictions, but I thought this was worthwhile doing. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I guess, uh, if that's the right wording. But leave your thoughts down below. Again, very real people. Uh, and I guess that's the, the sort of take home from this is good on them not being sucked up into the Hollywood machine. And unfortunately, you know, rest in peace, Lance Reddick. <laughs>